advent of industrialization man has gathered a great deal of luxuries and comforts be the altitudes of ignoring the disasters caused by man to the natural environment and resources have posed serious threats to the environment realizing the gravity of the matter efforts for conservation of natural environment has been started worldwide pakistan being a responsible member of the world community is paying its full attention to the matter in this regard, a two-day national consultation on green economy was organized jointly by Sustainable Development Policy Institute. Eminent scholars and economist members of civil society participated in the consultation. The consultation was held in connection with Rio Plus 20 conference to be held in June 2012. Uh, over the last 20 years, we see that uh the follow through in Pakistan has been quite slow, to put it mildly. Uh, one of the things that we have been working on is the National Sustainable Development Strategy. And there have been two attempts previously to get it formulated and approved uh, through the government process, which have not succeeded. So uh, about two, three months back, two and a half months back, the government, when it sat down to uh, look at what should be the country pitch for this Rio Plus 20 meeting, uh, there was a a four-track uh, process which was uh, decided. The first one was to, uh, to keep on working on the compilation document which was called the Zero Draft and which includes the suggestions from all the countries of the world uh, which are going to be tabled at the Rio negotiation process. So we have been providing input into that. The second thing was that the National Sustainable Development Strategy which has been hanging uh, for the last uh, five, six years, uh, should the attempt should be made to get it uh, formulated and approved before the Rio meeting. Uh, the third thing is the country situation report. There was an outsider's view of Pakistan's country situation, which was uh, uh, done by Mr. Kaka Khail, uh, the synthesis report, uh, which is a very uh, uh, pertinent document. Uh, but the government itself also decided that they, from the government side, will also put forward their view of what Pakistan's progress has been. And lastly, to, to have a side event uh, at Rio to, to really project uh, our unique challenges uh, at this particular conference. UN-wide report, which was published a month later, December 2011. December 2011, that was the release in New York of this interagency report. The title of it is Working Towards a Balanced and Inclusive Green Economy, colon, a UN system-wide perspective. That was the title of the report. The common understanding, the shared understanding within UN agencies of what green economy is all about. I must say that the report does not, deliberately does not give a definition because we would like to keep the space for this idea to evolve. Three points in terms of shared understanding among the UN agencies, and by the way, there were 37, 37 UN organizations participating in this effort. 37, and plus three Bretton Woods institutions, World Bank, IMF, and WTO. So altogether, we're talking about 40 agencies participating in this effort, plus OECD and plus the Inter-American Development Bank. Three shared understandings of the green economy. Number one, green economy is a vehicle to carry us to the destination of sustainable development. That's point number one. Number two, common understanding. That's the second wheel. The third wheel is people, okay? Educated and healthy people. That's the third wheel. And the fourth wheel is social institution, in particular, social protection a fair and equitable social system. These are the four wheels. This interagency effort, which is a reflection of the UN system to deliver as one in support of member states on green economy transformation, will encourage and inspire governments and other stakeholders in designing 
and the running and driving their own models of the green economy vehicle towards the real and the beyond to reach the final destination of sustainable development and the poverty eradication. There is no hidden agenda for the green economy, as a matter of fact, and I think we need to use it and take it as an opportunity in case of trade. And if we take the agricultural sector, for instance, if we look at the amount of subsidies which are being provided worldwide, developing countries cannot compete with the current situation, with the current amount of subsidies which are rendering developing country uh, products uh, uncompetitive. The only way out is to find the market niche. Organic agriculture, for, for instance, provides a good niche for developing countries to uh, fi find new market niches and market opportunities. So turning risks into an opportunity, that is, I think, the, the challenge. We heard some statements in the morning about water. Water is critical. Investment in water is uh, essential. Uh, we need to start off with how, for instance, uh, applying the green economy concept in that sector would increase efficiency, uh, reduce the uh, depletion of, of the groundwater, uh, increase our reservoirs. And in doing this, we are at the same time creating uh, job opportunities and increasing our uh, livelihood. Interactive session was also part of consultation in which prominent civil society members participated. We are trying to make amends in one area of environmental uh, sustainability and yet jeopardizing another. For example, Avay Saab, I don't know where he is, but there is a fabulous example of how he is using the, the, the byproduct and yet the, the product, which is the word, the chawal, is a very big challenge to Pakistan's water issue. Similarly, you have told us that solar, when we put the fuel in the tube, the problem is solved by the fuel. लेकिन ओवर हार्वेस्टिंग और वाटर का इश्यू सॉल्व नहीं होता और बलूचिस्तान का सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम था कि कारीज बागी और ट्यूबवेल ने बलूचिस्तान का पानी सारा पी लिया। सो हम ये जो एक अनोमलीज शुरू हो जाती हैं जब हम एक तरफ को देखते हैं और दूसरी तरफ को नहीं हमारा पॉलिसी डॉक्यूमेंट किस तरह इस चीज को रिफ्लेक्ट क in its simplest expression, a green economy is low carbon, resource efficient and socially inclusive. Ladies and gentlemen, women make 85% of all consumer choices. 85% of all consumer choices. When women are direct beneficiaries of credit, their repayment rates are higher throughout all regions of the world. Women are rising to key positions of power. In short, women can lead the way to a sustainable green economy. But what will Rio Plus 20 mean for the many millions of poor women across the world struggling with the effects of poverty, climate change, and environmental degradation? The concept of the green economy is a complex one, and the international community has yet to come to a political consensus on its meaning, its use, usefulness, on suing policy implications, or what actually constitutes a green economy. The green economy must embody the concept of sustainability and offer scope to debate the limits to growth, a debate which is now taking place in both the industrialized and emerging economies. Social policies and instruments will need to be developed to ensure that within the green economy, the interests of the people who depend on sectors like land, water, or fisheries are consciously and systematically safeguarded and protected from the very outset. Thank you.